How to zoom an image on tap or double tap in Flutter. Also, we will constrain the zoom to a limited container box. Let's get started with an our build method where I have created here this image that you see here on the right side. And now simply wrap your image inside of an interactive viewer. And here inside we disable then the pen and scaling functionality. Next, we want to wrap then around our interactive viewer a gesture detector. And now we want to detect if we double tap here on this image. And then we want to scale our image by a scale factor of 300%. And to make this work, you can simply go to your interactive viewer and here you can add this transformation controller that you also want to create here inside of your state. So here you create your controller and you also initialize it. And in case it is not used, then you can also dispose your controller. And finally, we go back to our on double tap callback. And here inside, we put then the controller value to this new zoomed value that we have calculated here. And with this, if I double tap on the image, then the image is scaled up by 300%. And lastly, we need to move only the image correctly so that it shows the correct part on which we have tapped. To do this, we go to our gesture detector and here if we tap down on our screen, then we get some details. So we get the details about the position where we have tapped on the screen and we want to save these details then here simply inside of our state. And finally, we can make use of these details to extract here first of all the position on the screen where we have tapped. And with the help of this position, we can calculate here two variables in X and Y. And these we can use then here inside of this matrix identity to translate our image to the right position after scaling. Let's also try it out. So I double tap here on this I and you see that our image is zoomed in around this ape's eye. Next, we want to double tap again on the image to zoom out. Therefore, we can check here if our image is right now not zoomed and if it is not zoomed, then we want to show our zoomed image. Otherwise, we want to show the not zoomed image. And with this, if I double tap on the image, then we zoom out and you can also zoom again in by double tapping. And finally, we want to add to our zoom an animation if we zoom in and also if we zoom out. Therefore, let's create within our state an animation controller and this animation object. And we also want to initialize this animation controller inside of our init state. And therefore, you also need to reference here within your state the single ticker provider state mixin. Next to initializing our animation controller, we also want to dispose it in case our animation controller is not needed anymore. And finally, we want to use the animation controller for doing the zoom animation. Therefore, we go to our gesture detector and here we use then this value that we have calculated for our image zoom to do our animation. Therefore, we create our animation object and here we end then exactly at this calculated value. And the animation starts at the current image zoom level. And finally, we want to put this animation value that we calculate inside of this interactive viewer controller. Therefore, we go here again to our init state method. And here on our animation controller, we want to add a listener where we put then the animation value inside of this interactive viewer controller. And next to updating our image zoom value, we also want to start the animation. Therefore, we go here back to our animation and with the help of our animation controller, we simply start the animation. And with this, if I double tap on this image, you always see we have here this cool zoom in and zoom out animation. Importantly, the image zoom will not go on top of your app bar and also not on top of your bottom navigation bar. Simply watch the next video Pinch to Zoom where I show you exactly how to implement an image zoom that goes above any other widget in Flutter. And lastly, of course, you can also change the image scale factor. So here we set it to 500% and with this, if I zoom here on the image, it is having a deeper zoom. Also, the zoom is working for other images, so you can simply put here another aspect ratio inside and you see if I zoom here, it is also working fine. And the same also works for if you have a horizontal image, then we can also zoom in here to our image to see the details of this image. You also can zoom your image on a single tab, simply remove here this name double every time inside of your gesture detector. 
And with this you can do a single tap to also do the zoom animation. And finally to zoom an image inside of this limited image width and height, you only need to remove here this clip behavior inside of your interactive viewer. How to add pinch to zoom to zoom in and out images with the Flutter interactive viewer widget. You also can pan around while zooming to left to right and also vertically up and down. Let's get started with the build method where I have created this pinch zoom image inside of a separate file. And here within this build method, we basically create this image that you see here on the right side. And now around this image, we want to wrap then the interactive viewer widget. And with this, you can do with two fingers the pinch to zoom gesture to zoom into your image. And you can also pan around into your image to change the position. As you notice, the pinch to zoom gesture is by default inside of this image, so it's always staying at the same width and height. To change this, you can add in your interactive viewer the clip behavior to none. As a result, if I zoom right now into the image, you see it takes here the whole width and whole height, and you can also zoom again out if you like. Next, you can define the min scale and max scale. And in our case, we define that the image can be zoomed in by four times the image size. And secondly, we also want to disable the panning around within our image. And with this, the image can be zoomed in by 400% and we cannot pan around here more our image to change the position because we have set here this flag pan enable to false. And finally, we want to do the pinch to zoom animation. And now if we go away with the fingers from our screen, then it should animate automatically back. Therefore, let's add the transformation controller with which we can listen to zoom and pen gestures. Next to it, we want to create an animation controller and an animation object for doing this back animation. And finally, within the init state method, we want to initialize then both of our controllers, so the transformation controller and the animation controller. And therefore, we also need to reference here within our state, the single ticker provider state mixin. And next to creating these both controllers, we also want to dispose them in case they are not needed anymore. And now if we zoom here into our image and then end with the interaction, then we want to call actually inside of our interactive viewer this on interaction end. And when the user stops the interaction on the screen, then we want to call a method reset animation. And here inside we want to create then our animation object. And inside of it, we want to do our animation from our current zoom level that we have right now. And then we want to go back to the original state. To make this work, we also need to put then this animation value inside of our controller value of our interactive viewer. Therefore, you simply go here up to our init state method. And here on our animation controller, we want to add a listener so that we always put the animation value inside of our controller, which is attached to the interactive viewer. And lastly, to make this work, you need to go back to your reset animation method. And here you need to call then on your animation controller, the forward method to start your animation. Make sure to click here on hot restart. And now if you do hear this interaction and stop the interaction, then he will simply go back again and do this animation. And finally, we have a big problem with our pinch to zoom if we have here at the top an app bar or at the bottom a bottom navigation bar because our pinch to zoom is not going above the app bar and bottom navigation bar. To zoom our image above the app bar and bottom navigation bar, we want to put first of all our interactive viewer with this image inside of a separate build image method. And now as soon as we start with the zoom interaction, then we want to go inside of this on interaction start. And here we want to show then an overlay in case at least two fingers are tapping the screen. And this overlay that we want to create will be drawn above every other widget in Flutter above the app bar, the bottom navigation bar and so on. And to make this work, you also need to have your build context. And therefore it is important that you go to this image widget that you want to zoom. And around it, you need to wrap then a builder so that we get here the context that we now use inside of the show overlay method. All right, and now we can create the show overlay method. And here we take then the overlay widget from the Flutter SDK to insert a widget on top of our whole app UI. Therefore, we define here an entry that we want to create within our state. So here we create then this overlay entry. 
And lastly, we want to initialize this overlay entry back in our show overlay method. So here inside, we want to create our overlay entry. And here within the builder method, you can create a widget that should be displayed on top of your whole app UI. So in this case, we take here the same image that we right now display in our UI. And now if I tap here with two fingers on the screen, then you see that an image is overlaid on top of our whole app UI. And this is basically the image that we have created here with this overlay entry. And now we want to position also this widget here correctly in our app UI. And therefore we simply define here first of all the width of this entry. As a result, if I now tap with both fingers on this image, you see that we have here this image at the top. And finally, we want to position this image here correctly above this image that we have here initially in our app UI. And therefore we can simply make use of this render box that we get from our context. And with this render box, we get then basically an offset. So here from our render box, we can create then this offset that we put inside of this positioned widget. And this offset is basically here the top left corner of our build method. So inside of our build method, we have here this interactive viewer. And therefore we get here the top left corner with this offset here. Let's also try it out. If I now tap with two fingers on the screen, then you see we have here on top this overlay and you see it is also going here above our app bar at the top and our bottom navigation bar at the bottom. And to make everything smooth, we also want to hide our overlay in case the animation has ended. Therefore we go to our animation controller and here we add a status listener so that we listen to the animation completion. And if this is the case, then we want to remove our overlay. Therefore we create here a new method and here we remove then our entry that we have created before with this build image method. As a result, the pinch to zoom and also the animation is now smooth. If you like, you can also darken the background while you do this pinch to zoom. So here this background will slowly get more darker. Therefore, let's go to our overlay entry. And here we want to put then a stack around our positioned widget. And under our image, we want to place then here a black container that gets here the whole size available of the screen. So now if I do this gesture, you see that we have a black screen. However, what we want to have is an opacity for this black color instead. Therefore, we wrap here this container inside of an opacity widget. And now we can define here the opacity and therefore we take the current scale factor and the max scale factor to determine the opacity. To make this work, we also want to create the scale factor inside of our state. So here at the top, we create a new field scale. And lastly, we need to put the current scale factor inside of this field. And therefore we go here to our build image method. And here on this interaction, we can then add an on interaction update where we get over this details every time the current scale while we are zooming here into our image. Also, after every scale change, we need to update our entries UI and therefore you call here the mark needs to build method, which is basically the set state for our build entry. All right, let's try it out. So if I zoom here inside of this image, you see that the background gets darker and this is a pretty cool effect while we are zooming inside of our image. Mm -hmm. 